Alrighty, Micah Chuckle 1212. One, two. It's your human, as far as you know. Juggle Razzy for part three of the Fallout 4 PS5 version. Like, follow, subscribe, share, because oh my goodness, I would love to, to get monetized. I've been on here for a long time. I got 50 followers, finally. So, man. But I'm streaming and gaming forever. Whether I get successful or not, it's just for fun. Alright, here we go. thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Nice! Trophy! Well, you can walk, buddy, but guess what? I got a little magic trick. You know what that is? It's called fast travel. Yeah. It's called fast travel, buddy. Oh, yeah. Tell me a joke. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yes. Hey, noodle lady. What's up? Yes. Huh? That's it? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, hello. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. All right. I want to be left alone. Hey, sweetie. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Hey, Valentine, how you doing? Ellie? How you doing? Are you here? Nick? Got back in the nick of time. Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, <laughs> death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my <laughs> job. Thank you. All right. Can we get started on my case? Oh, of course. There's just a small clerical thing we need to clear up. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. Well, hello you know, there. Hey. If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. 
lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and the baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Hmm. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone <coughs> Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute hmm. has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. What the heck? Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Mm -hmm. The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Hmm. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. 
See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Uh... What's up? Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. He has no enemies, because they're all dead. Mm -hmm. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. He's got a good lock picket skill. Oh, I spoke too soon. Lock's really strong. Nope. <clears throat> hmm. Pickpocket. Locksmith. Yep. We need those to go up a little bit. But next time I'm I'm, I'm gonna raise my AP. Nope. Need to find the key. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? Yep. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Hmm. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. All righty. Here we go. Hey, welcome to the stream. Be playing all day long. It's a Fallout Marathon. Easier if you hmm? use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain <laughs> air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. I was just leaving anyway. Hmm. Hey, Piper. Good luck with McDonough. Just uh, watch yourself around him, okay? 
<clears throat> ah, yes, I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for mm. the first time. <laughs> How can I help you? Hmm. I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. Mm. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crime this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. Hmm. I understand you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's <laughs> sake, not some thug for hire. <laughs> So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Hmm. Without, or found some other way of acquiring that. Geneva. Yep. Just walk and wake her up. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. <coughs> Hey, Geneva. Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. Mm. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. How many caps do I got? Where are those caps located at? Um... 
inventory? Hmm. Oh, there they are. 519. Don't have enough money right now. Huh. So... She left the key on her desk before she knew I needed the key. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Check out that desk. Take it easy, but buddy. I'm gathering stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. Hmm. Hmm. How about? Hello, Nukagola. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Oh, I just realized I love something about this game. I don't dehydrate or get hungry. I just use the food and drink for HP. I hate the survivor aspect of um, 76, having to drink and eat food. It's like, yo, it's a video game. Just let me play the game. I don't want it. Eat rank. Able to carry more than you, eh? Damn it. Hmm. Sort by weight. Actually, we'll sort by quality of damage first. Hmm. -hmm. Stout beer, 
44 caliber bullets and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Well, what in the world? Hmm. So what are we missing? What are we doing here? Um, data. Investigate Kellogg's house. What are we missing here? Hmm. dog meat. A commonwealth mutt like him can track a set for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? Mm -hmm. he picks up the trail. Okay. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, <clears throat> you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. He's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Hey! I didn't even have to fetch him. I like that. What's up? Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Oh. Got something, boy? Nice. Trophy. And level up. Before we do this, let's level up. So we can run faster. And not run out of AP. There it is. Action, boy. Your action points regenerate 25% faster. Boom. Hanging out with Valentine, huh? What's up, Leo? Make it good people. Dog meat, where'd you go? You faced out of reality. <clears throat> Good old dog meat. Search for clues to Kellogg. Kellogg's hmm. must have stopped here. Search around. See if we can pick up the trail. Aha. Uh -huh. San Francisco Sunlights. Dog meat finds something? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
Hey. Someone should make use of it. Hmm. All right. Now what? Up. Looks like another one. Damn it, we're over encumbered again. Hmm. See, sort by weight. Okay. Oh wow, drifter outfit that much. Huh. One of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Hmm. Five and seven. Where are we going, boy? What's up, dog meat? <clears throat> you can run, you know. You don't have to just. Well, I guess you gotta. You gotta sniff it. All right. Gotta be getting close. Are we going the circles, dog mate? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm. Here we go. So I was just here. Aha! Get, get, dude. Dude, what are you doing? Lost the oh, dog meat. Finally, move out the way, dude. What is it, boy? What are we looking for? Aha! There we go. Bloody bandages. Now dog me can track this. That nose is second to none. Okay, boy. Let's track him.
Nice. Jeez. Oh, he's a vicious one. First legendary armor. <clears throat> Oops. Ah, we gotta be a little more careful there. All right, let's go. Hmm. Yo, it's a big boy. Uh oh. Yo, it's a big boy. Yo. Good mosquitoes attack attack the bear. That's right. Oh. Oh shit! What got me? Yo! Give me your caps anyway. I am sorry, but I don't have enough to spare. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me, uh, sir. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? Why do you need to go there? I can't avoid... Excuse me, uh, sir. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? I don't. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you for... Let's go, boy. Dog meets stubborn. <laughs> right. Dog meets found something. You know the drill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Gwyneth Stout, one of his creature comforts. I'm telling you, <clears throat> Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy, let's track him. Yes, the wasteland. glitch hey we got a got a floating wind there what's up buddy oh hello oh that's not better though but we can sell that for 90 we can sell that for 90 caps if it lets me i don't know find out Let's go dog meat. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. Hmm? Tracking known mercenary. Exercise. It's extreme caution. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. <laughs> dog picked up the arm. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. <laughs> Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. Damn. Hell of a party happened here. Kellogg was here. Let's find something to track him down. Doggies.
What do you think, boy? Was this our man? I'll be doing hey. the work. Welcome to your last stand. Over here. Here. Good thing. Hey. I'm listening. Nick. Something up? <coughs> Nothing else for now. Well, all... <coughs> Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? <coughs> I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Heads up. There's something you need?
end up on the other side. Me to take a look at that terminal? Hello. That's it. Something out. <laughs> Hostile sensor reading detected. Is someone present? Over to 
active sensors. Nothing more. Attacking enemy. You must be terminated. Hey, here's someone. Right minds to build a place like this. Security's too good. Now I understand. You are hiding because you fear death. Hacking this is beyond me.
Got it. It. All right, let me do something real quick here. Open up my little Twitch app and switch into creative mode, stream manager. Text test. Luke. All right. So you get to the viewer. Thanks for watching. You just watch and chill, or if you would text, I will. I got that text to speech thing going on. All right. Oh, we got a few people watching. Nice. I finally hit 50 followers, which I'm very excited about. But I've never had fluke. Test, test. Whoop, whoop. Juggalo. But yeah. I've never had more than five people watch that at one time. But anyway, let's see here. What are we doing? How's it going? Pretty good, man. How's it going with you? What's up? Off on the weekends, or just playing this all day long. Uh oh, should in chillin'. Had a product demo today for a new line of connect rates and working on. Hmm. Yep, got the PS5 version of this. I'm gonna play so your house has been a wreck for years. game through again. We're going to play this game through Ally with the Institution, second play through Brotherhood, and then at the end we'll do the uh, mods. So yeah, this will be at least for the next couple of weeks I'm playing this game again. Although Atomic Heart Never is pretty good too. Oh crap, that was crap crap. Oh shit. Help me out, Nick. Next level. Peace. Wouldn't want it going to 
waste now, would we? And I tell you what I do so it doesn't mess up my uh, memory in the settings. I always make jump X and crouch circle the way the universe intended the controls to be. All right, let's see here. What are we doing? Hmm, that's the exit. So Love, what are, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not going to go your way. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, I'm down to 13 bullets? Holy crap. 25? Oh, there we go. Alright, well... Well, I guess we'll keep on using the... Uh... Hey, let's try this one a little bit. Can't okay. break the code. Nope. Too much of a noob in this playthrough. Alright. Hmm... Okay. Oh. Where am I supposed to go? for Fort Hagen. Hmm. I came from that way, didn't I? Heads up. Do something for you? Can I not advance unless... Okay, here we go. This is the way to go, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! jump up a little bit. I mean my AP action points. Alright. for inventory. Nope, can't do that. It requires six. Um, hmm. Oh! Long Wanderer. Who needs friends anyway? When you venture without a pain, you take 15% less damage. You carry weight increases by, by 50. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But I have to increase my stuff. Um, hmm. AGA. Oh, requires level 18, so I might as well forget that. That's going to be a while I get there. Um...
see what's under the lucky category. More battle caps, that's kind of cool. More ammunition, definitely cool. Oh, bloody mess. Love that. Oh. Yo, I got I got to pop up this luck. Yeah, we're going for the luck category. For sure. All right. What the hell aiming is this? What the hell? What the hell aiming camp mechanic was that? What the what the hell just happened? Some kind of glitch. Holy crap. It like bounced me into the other room. goodies in here so we got it we got we got a horde only the stuff we need though because my inventory is almost full hmm. bobblehead perfect You got it, Mick. All righty. Oops. Yes. Mm. Ain't too special. All right, I'll help you out, Nick. Statistically speaking, survival is improbable. Mm. Oh, okay. Not that much, but I don't get rid of it. And we might as well eat some food. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I almost didn't go in here. And I needed that password for something. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I wish I could have a good game of turn my back so I'm sitting on this piece of crap cheap Walmart chair. 
but it's better than no chair. Alright. Let's see here. Not a bad place to operate from. Plenty of security. Hmm. Oh, that's not the way to go. Hmm, where the heck am I going? Oh shit. I'm a little bit lost. Not sure where to go. Uh, hmm. Away, dude. Get out of here. Hey, get out of my way. God damn it. I would be in there for you if you didn't think get in my way. Somewhere. It's not too late. Stop. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. See you later. <laughs> Yo. <clears throat> Yo, there's two of them. Hello. Nice. Go. Oh. Huh? I had some of that for real earlier today. drink soon. Let's see what this is. 
is going to give us. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Sick of it, just the back of this chair. Eh, a little bit loose. <clears throat> Alright. See if my psychic abilities are on point. I mean, kick, kick, kill all skills. But let's go for it. Nope. Oh, zero. Nothing. Uh. Could it be this other word? Hey! Oh. Deactivate. Hold on for a second, though. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting close. Mm. Oh, we're getting really close now. Yep. I'm just up ahead. <laughs> My sins are standing down. Let's talk. Okay, where, where, where's the hidden cameras? How does he know I'm coming? Yeah, we're talk. Do you speak the language of bullets? I guess I can't shoot yet. Okay. Let's, uh, you murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. Now. Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. You said that you're hoping for a happy reunion. Ain't gonna happen, pal. The boy's not here. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. Whoa. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is. Nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. Yeah, I'm a good dad. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. Even if it is useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. Mm -hmm. So. You know, in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill <laughs> you all over again, you piece of shit. Whoa. Damn. Oh, shit. Where is he? I got this on my own, Nick. He's mine. Execute! Execute! Jeez, I didn't even take him out. He's got some kind of ma magical head. Magical head that can take a gunshot to the face.
Oh, shit. What the hell? Okay, hold on. You you, you want to play? We'll we'll play. Oh shit. <laughs> what kind of person takes gunshots to the face over and over again? Wasting your time. What a shotgun to the face. One more bitch. One more. The old smiley face. That's what the bosses get. The boss battles get the old bloody smiley face. There we go. What's up? Alright. Look alive. No, Wait there. See what I get. Go ahead. Your thoughts? Kellogg definitely had some connections. No doubt about that. <clears throat> oh, no. Got it. Ah, here we go. Excellent. You've collected an issue of Robo Robcore Fun includes the Pip for holotape game. Nice. Nice. All right, let's go. Hmm. The boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. No orders to track down, renegade, gather reinforcements. Cleared out and secured Port, uh, Fort Hagen. We moved out soon. Hmm. All right. wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is a... Hmm. Bet this place got hit hard. Hey, Valentine. We know where your son is, but even I don't know how to find the Institute. And they built me. There has to be a way, Nick. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Get hot I'm sauce. Step back. Bring in some fresh and a drink. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper. 
a reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way, talk this through. Just an advertisement. All right. <clears throat> okay, got my hot sauce for my generic spam. than she lets on and she lets on a lot i know her she's done her homework and we need to talk this through with someone diamond city it is hey chin up i know the night just got darker but it won't last forever to give up this time. Hmm. Go by weight. Oh, plus 30? Hmm. 666. Hmm, ultralight chest piece. Oh, it has to be. So, yeah, it can't look. It's not anything great. I got better individual armor anyway. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Six and four. Ten and six. That wins.
Yo. The Brotherhood. second they were talking but it didn't have subtitles huh what do they say on all right Discuss your findings with Piper. Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say? <laughs> Hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Kellogg kidnapped my son, handed him over to the Institute. I'm going to find them. And make them regret what they've done to me. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But hmm. to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Oh. Huh. Just a slight camera adjustment. to have a way in and out but well we both know that angle is cut off hmm yeah any other ideas Nick talk about a literal dead end huh so mm -hmm. a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent huh be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk. 
even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. <laughs> Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old <laughs> subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's mm -hmm. stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're going to need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. <coughs> what exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump-started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... <clears throat> who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name. It's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Hmm. Over and over. But not us. We're going to try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. Nice. We're gonna get your Trophy. boy back. Just a few more steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Big, uh, loud, something. full of corrupt officials and Brazilian citizens, but it's home. Look alive. You say the word. Piper. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. <laughs> Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. You had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Mm -hmm. Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. For the last part of our interview, I had to do something different. <coughs> a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? 
Hmm. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think you're starting to <coughs> in city plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again. Hey, XP. Let's see here. Talk to Dr. Mori. Yo. So buddy. Piper. Yo, bitch. Oh, it's a legendary. I see. Oh shit, there's more? Check out our weapons.
Yes, level up. Alright, let's see. What are we going to level up this time? Oh, so many things I don't have yet that I want. Let's see. Hmm. More battle caps. Don't buy too much stuff though. I find it. More ammunition. That that's good. Yep. Need more bullets. We got a battle, so super mutant soon. I see those uh, blood bag sack thingies. Oh shit. How many are there? Are you? <laughs> Perfect timing. I am unstoppable. He blows up. Mm, I could just go around, but I'm here now and it gives XP every time I pick a lock, so. the hell's the door to this thing? What's going on the bridge? How the hell? Oh, there it is. Oh. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. <clears throat> Alright. 
see if I can carefully put this energy powder in my half full can of Mountain Dew without it fizzing over. Hopefully. Stirring it around. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking Adventure time. Your husband to his mistress. Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? <laughs> We're hiring, but uh, I don't think you'd measure up. Don't be like that. You just got the look of someone who's in the market for a little insurance. You better back off. Or you're the one who's going to need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. <laughs> you hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. <clears throat> he ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? <laughs> my heart over here. You all right, brother? <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, You'll call this Freaks and Misfits, Juggalos, baby. So long as you remember who's in charge. Except nobody's in charge of the Juggalos. Guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. <laughs> Except me. I only kill when I want to. Who... what are you? I'm a woman, baby. <laughs> you certainly look like a woman, yes. And that's all that matters, right? Now are you buying what I'm selling? So, what kind of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. <coughs> Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Let's see what you got. A gun for every occasion. Okay, so... Let's see here. Start selling stuff. It's not gonna now, but I'm gonna be buying stuff too, so. Uh, 
get some money, save some weight. Okay, let's leave it there for now. Now let's see what we can sort. Okay. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Hmm, I think which one is my favorite gun, though. Damn. Um, we we'll do this in a second. Okay. Hold on. Now, <clears throat> what do we got here? So we definitely need all the shells we can get. We got plenty of 38s. We need more shells. We need shells, 44s, and 308s. Shells, 44s, and 308s. Shells, 44, 308s. Let's just see if we can remember that. I've got a weapon here for every situation. I've got a few minutes to browse. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Murder, murder, murder. Okay, let's see. So, they all got 44s. Damn. Eh, screw it. We'll get these. Alright. And now we're sell. Value. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to sell. Find out. Hmm. <clears throat> oh shit, I'm not gonna have enough, I don't think. There we go. But this is an order of value.
All right. There we go. Excuse up. me. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, I'm not buying that. We come in peace, Malarkey. Huh? <clears throat> Sweet pit boy brother. You hmm? hold on to that. Hmm? What am I supposed to do here? I forget. Make a statue out of you like that. Abstract, ideally. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. What's up? I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Here for Amari, she's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Mm. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt itself. All right? <clears throat> All right. Let's go. Dr. Amari? Yes. So I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Of course. Here's what I could find. <laughs> What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... <laughs> Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Hmm. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Hmm? I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, mm? pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Hmm. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, 
while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Please stand by. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. Hmm. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Me, Mom. Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. Hmm. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my food? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. Hmm? You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. <laughs> this doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it. When it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after 
that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help to them. I'll connect you. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. There was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. 
We are running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never liked to. And yeah. I guess it did remind me of, uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh... I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. Is it over? <clears throat> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! <laughs> Almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. 
capture and return, or... Chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Memory Den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Hey, Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself in Good Neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. What did you say? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. 
Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. There's something wrong with you, Nick. I don't want you with me. I told you I'm fine. But I get it. Going through Kellogg's brain was a doozy for both of us. I'll be in Diamond City when you've had time to cool off. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. Point the way. Talk to me. Your thoughts? You know, you are some kind of dedicated. I wouldn't want to share a beer with Kellogg, let alone a brain. Is everything okay between us? I guess I'm still on the fence. Show me you want to make lives better out here. Then we'll talk. That was all I had. Sure. anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Dombrowski the other day? Huh, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, what matters. We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. Brotherhood of Steel. You may stay out of the there in our big friendly commonwealth want to drive us apart what kind of Uh, Blue, where are your pants? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Something's going on here. Oh, I sold my my suit. Oh, that's funny. I got no pants on. Everyone. 
Everyone else may be closed, but don't... Every conceivable good you could ever need is right here. If we don't have it, it's inconceivable. <laughs> I've got a few minutes to browse. There you are. Oh no, it takes all the defenses away? You son of a bitch. Hmm. Oh, I do hope you're here to make a move. I'll take a look, sure. Here you are. Hmm. Well, hey, how about I introduce you to my confidential informant? Oh, Takahashi, thank hey, you, you for meeting paper, me. Right? Hey, just let me know. No, come on. Well, we've been traveling together for ages. Ah, sorry, Blue. The jig is up. Takahashi told me everything. Here, web of lies. Here, Gone. I mean. I bet your name's not even blue, is it? Hmm. Hey. What can I do? Hey, Piper. Something you need? Listen to Valentine's Detective Agency Radio. Hold on. It's on my radio station, right? Uh, hmm. There we go. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Hmm. <clears throat> this is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Hmm? Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? N no. Uh, no, I, I can't remember clearly. Don't want to taint the investigation before it's even started. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start.
All right, I'm going to take a short pause. So, episode the next episode will be in about 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I'm going to take like a 30 minute nap because I didn't get no sleep last night. So, I'm going to be back in about 30 minutes. Peace.